Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm having a swell day, thank you very much. So I didn't know what I wanted to film today, but today was the only day that I would be able to film something this week. And so I searched far and wide on the internet on like things to film when you have no idea what to film and of course I was looking at book tags and I came across the bookish bookin book tag so that's what we're gonna do today the first question is what is one well-loved book that you hate so of the time that I've been reading, I haven't really hated any of the books that I've read, and if I did, they weren't popular, so I don't have an answer for this question. I will say, though, that there are some popular books that I have zero interest in reading, like the Hunger Games series and the Divergent trilogy, and there's a couple other ones, but I can't think of what they are off the top of my head. The second question is, what is a guilty pleasure book for you? Number three, have you ever spoiled a book for someone? No, I haven't. I'm not a monster. Sometimes I'll put like minor spoilers in my videos, but if I do, I always put like a little warning that I'm about to be spoiling y'all okay so I rest my case fourth question is what book made you ugly cry this book actually made me ugly cry twice um, if you don't know what this book is about people compare it to um, the fault in our stars because like some people the people who don't like this book they don't like it because they think that the author is trying to romanticize illness which no but this book is is compared to five er, <sighs> this book is compared to the fault in our stars um this is about uh, a girl named stella who has cystic fibrosis and she meets this boy named Will who also has that, but he's got like some extra sum that kind of makes it worse for him. This book is like a, a haters to lovers romance and it freaking broke my heart, okay? Fifth question is what is your latest DNF? I've only ever DNF'd one book and that book was Beautiful Creatures by Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia. I could not get into it. Like, could not. I did read half of it before I decided to quit on it, but I figure after half of the book, you'd think that there'd be a little something to, like, get me to want to finish it, but there really just wasn't, and I was kind of disappointed. Because I was excited to read it and then I just didn't like it after and I ugh. The next question is, what is a book that you've read due to controversy? I do have a book on my TBR that I'm wanting to read due to controversy but I haven't read it yet. I was gonna read it like two months ago and then I didn't. That book is All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bran Greenwood. This is about a young girl who gets involved in a romantic relationship with like a, an older guy and so is that pretty controversial yes it is gap relationships are controversial in general like a very young person in a relationship with like an older person i know a lot of people don't really agree with that the next question is have you ever read a book where you questioned the author's sanity no i have not but there is one on my TBR that I feel like I might question their sanity. Um, I talked about it in one of my recent videos. It is called Flesh and Bone. And this one is a horror novel and it's supposed to be like really gory and graphic with like the details because it's, it's, a, it's a body farm novel. And a body farm is like where dead people show up and like the doctor people like figure out why, why they're dead and stuff. So... I guess we'll see when we read it. 
The next question is, what is the most cringe-worthy book that you've ever read? The most cringe-worthy, I'm like cringing thinking about it. It's called To Catch a Killer. This book was a joke, honestly. It is, I didn't know when I read it, but it's a, I think it's a tween fiction. So like, not young adult, but like, so it's like 12 year old fiction. And I didn't know that when I read it until I read it and I was like, what is this book? And so I looked it up and I was like, oh, that's probably why I didn't like it. But it was just so annoying. The character, like the main character, she was so annoying. And like the story just didn't like sit right with me. Like, like it could have been good if it was executed differently. The next question is what book have you read just because of the cover again I haven't read it but I have it on my TBR um, I actually have a few books that I've purchased just because of the cover but this is the first one that I looked at and so it's called The Bad Mother by Amanda Brook and I don't really remember what this one is supposed to be about um, the side panel and the back don't have a description so I had to look it up but I don't really remember. I saw it on Book Outlet and I had to get it because I like the flowers on it. The tenth question is what is a book that you are embarrassed that you have read? We're gonna have to go with Twilight again. I am not necessarily embarrassed to have read this. I just keep the fact that I've read it to myself because I know that like 98% of the world literally hates the heck out of this book. I just found a $2 bill inside. <gasps> I am part of the 2% of the world who does really like the book and the movies. Um, all of my Twilight fans, leave a comment um, letting me know that you're a Twilight fan because this is a Twilight love zone. Is it just me or do I feel like the world is starting to reread the Twilight series again? Because I've seen like a lot of content surrounding it on like YouTube and Twitter and stuff lately and I was like, I thought y'all hated it. Honestly, they're probably reading it so they can get a kick out of it. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'll reread it. I probably shouldn't though because I still need to read Eclipse. And Breaking Dawn, which everyone says that Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2 really just, like, destroyed their love for Twilight. And, like, I've seen the movies, so I know what happens already. And I was not really affected by it, so... But yeah, I'm not necessarily embarrassed by this book. I just don't openly talk about it. Because I don't need everyone who hates Twilight to come and, like, bash me about liking Twilight. Because it happens to me every time. The next question is, what is a book that you wish more people knew about? When I was a senior in high school, there was a book that I read for a English paper. I got to choose the book, so it wasn't assigned to me. I just found it in the school library. But it's called Please Stop Laughing at Me by Jody Blanco. This one is about, it's a true story, so it's nonfiction. It is about um, a girl who was bullied, like, so bad growing up and for no reason like I I was just so shocked at how people could be kids specifically could be so hateful to a person at such a young age like 12 year olds picking on a girl so bad that she went through like some horrible shit that nobody should have to go through ever it just baffles me but not a lot of people have read it it only has like a thousand reviews on Goodreads, which isn't really a lot. I really loved the book. I got an A plus on that paper too. But yeah, I wish more people knew about it. And if they do know about it, I hope that they read it because I think it's so important to know what kids are going through still. Um, even though there's like laws against bullying and stuff, but nobody listens to the government anymore. The next question is, what is your favorite villain in a book? I have a read very many books in my reading career and before this year 
I have yet to read anything other than romance so I haven't really read a book with like a solid villain or a villain the next question is what is a book that you enjoyed that was outside your comfort zone again haven't been reading for very long have mostly read romance and everything that I read really is inside of my comfort zone it is a goal of mine though this year to start reading some books that are outside of my comfort zone I just want to like give myself more variety and expand my interests so the only way that that's going to happen is if I read something other than what I've been reading the last question is what are some tropes that you actually like one that I like that some people seem to not like as much is for romance books obviously um, it's the hate to love romance I love hate to love romance and it seems like some people don't really like it that much another one is um, friends to lovers I know some people prefer of the two they prefer haters to lovers first or better um, and I know in life I am like a, a big believer in you should probably be friends with somebody for a long time before you like get in a relationship and like get married and stuff like I know with some people it works to like just meet somebody and like six months get married but for me I really have to like know a person before I decide if I'm gonna want to like spend the rest of my life with them you know so those were all of the questions feel free to answer any of the questions down below I would love to read your answers I hope you enjoyed today's video um we're probably going to be seeing a lot of tag videos from me for a while because I don't really have any idea what to film. The other day somebody told me that I should um, film a recommendations video, but I haven't read that many books since I've started reading. I think I've read like 51 total. And I don't really think that that's enough books to compile a list of like solid recommendations so I'm not gonna do a recommendations video until I've read like a substantial amount of books so I don't know when that's gonna be but I have seen people doing videos where like they read their favorite booktubers favorite books and I think I want to do that I have a couple booktubers that I want to read their favorite books because like we have similar tastes um, but there is another one that is like she reads books completely out of my comfort zone but I still want to read those books um, but it wouldn't be a while until I get the video for that out because like I have to read the books but I don't know like when I'm gonna read them because I don't own them and so I have to like check them out of the library if they're even available at the library and if not I'm probably gonna have to buy them and like things like that and so I am thinking of doing one of those videos let me know if that would be of interest to any of you but that is the end of today's video uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you next week for whatever video I will have coming to you. It's probably going to be a tag, so just putting that out there right now. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.